La paroscope, also known as keyhole surgery, is a procedure used to inspect and operate on organs inside the abdomen and pelvic area using tiny cuttings. It's also known as minimal invasive surgery because it uses smaller cuts to examine internal organs like the liver, pelvic, pancreas, small intestines, spleen to detect tumors, abdominal masses and cavities, liver diseases, among others, the paroscopy procedure uses a thin lead tube that has a video camera inserted inside the abdomen or pelvis and connected to a screen. It allows doctors to take a better look at the area of concern and also detect other defects that had not shown signs or easily seen physically. You're doing an abdominal surgery, the ability to scan through the whole abdomen gives you a 360 approach to this patient, someone might have uh, an issue, say with an ovary it has a cyst, they have an issue with a gallbladder that has stones. Through the same four keyholes, you can remove the gallbladder, you can deal with the ovaries. If you are to do the conventional open surgery, you doubt open to remove the gallbladder, Again, that is up the upper part of the abdomen. You again open the lower part of the abdomen to remove the ovaries. And of course, you'll have huge scars. Laparoscopy has advantages like shorter recovery time compared to open laparotomy surgery. So the procedure is able to go back home in two to three days' time and able to return back to work in uh, about a week to two weeks. Yeah, so the other disadvantages of, uh, of laparoscopic surgery is uh, just like it can happen in the conventional open surgery, you can have injury to the surrounding organs, yes. At the point when we are putting in, we call it carbon dioxide, which sometimes we call it insufflation. We put a lot of gas in the abdomen to be able to see well. You can have injury to the small intestines, you can have injury to the iota which is the major blood vessel however the process takes longer and requires a big team of specialists and highly sophisticated equipment handling one patient alone requires at least a team of seven medical personnel with different fields of expertise and it takes about eight hours for one complex surgery equipment for laparoscopic surgery is not the same as equipment for Open surgery. Mulago National Referral Hospital is one of the few fairly equipped public hospitals privileged to handle laparoscopic surgeries. On average, the hospital handles at least 20 cases a month, and these are mostly performed on elective or planned basis. Surgeries might take maybe uh, six to eight hours, and so that means it is more or less one case that you can do in a day. But of course, considering that this is also a national referral, we have other competing interests of patients who come in. So we'll also have to allow space for these other. In 2017, a team of 30 medical personnel from different fields were sent to India by government to further their training in laparoscopy. Dr. Gideon Kurigamba, a gastrointestinal and laparoscopic surgeon at Mulago Hospital, was among the beneficiaries through a parentship. This team is also training others to increase the number. So when this team returned, we have seen the uptake of laparoscopic surgery go high. And now the advantage is that this team is now passing on skills because in most of the centers where this is, like for example in Mulago, you have uh, those ones who are training as postgraduates, they're able to tap onto this skill. And you can't believe that now, even up country places, a number of them now, the centers have started doing laparoscopic surgeries. And so now with that, and then progressively through the institution, we have the refresher courses. Laparoscopy surgery is used mainly on removal of ovarian cysts, fibroids, endometriosis surgery, gallstone removal, gastric bypass surgery, rectal prolapse repair, appendix removal, colon cancer removal, hernia repair surgery, tubal litigation and reversal, urethra and vaginal reconstruction surgery, among others. Susan Naonga, reporting for ABC TV.